Want to study Japanese language? Visit our Facebook page at Plastone School. Or you can click the link in the description. Sign up now and create your future with us. You can also visit our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to be updated on our latest videos. Plastone Language School Incorporated. Hi, konnichiwa, Arisan Saides. Yurosh konnagayashimasu. Ang susunod nating pag-aaralan ay tungkol sa using sentences to qualify nouns. Okay, so sa past lesson natin, napag-aralan natin ang tungkol sa qualifying nouns with verbs and adjectives. Okay, so balikan muna natin sa glit. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng qualifying nouns with verbs and adjectives? Okay, so ibig sabihin nito is describe natin kung anong klaseng noun ang tinutukoy natin. Okay, so for example, gamitin natin ang hito or person as reference na noun. So instead of just saying person or hito, gagamit tayo ng adjectives or verbs para i-describe kung anong klaseng tao ito. So unahin natin ang i-adjective. For example, umoshiroi hito. Okay, so instead of just saying hito or person, Sinabi natin na a person who is interesting. Okay, next, i-adjective pa rin. Kami ganagay hito. Tao na mahaba ang buhok. Okay, so next, gamitin naman natin ang na-adjective. Neko ga suki na hito. Okay, instead of just saying person, sinabi natin na person na gusto ang pusa or a person who likes cut. Okay, next. So, ngayon, gamitin naman natin ang verbs para i-describe ang isang noun. Okay, again, we will use hito as reference. Okay, for example, megane o kakiteiru hito or a person who wears glasses. Okay, so take note lang ulit natin that when we use verbs to qualify nouns, the verbs should be in short forms. So sa example natin, instead of kakiteimas, ginawa natin siyang kakiteiru, which is in short form. Okay, next, using sentences to qualify nouns. So we can also use sentences to qualify nouns. For example, kino katahon. Okay? So, instead of just saying libro, sinabi natin na libro na binili ko kahapon. Okay? So, example to ng qualifying nouns. Next, karega kuretahon. Again, instead of just saying hon or libro, describe natin yung libro, which is Libro na binigay ni boyfriend. Okay, tandaan lang natin na ang particle ng person na gumawa ng isang verb kapag ito ay nasa qualifier noun is particle ga, gaya ng example dito, and not particle wa. Okay? Next, Tsukweno uwe ni Arhon or libro na nasa ibabaw ng mesa. Next, pwede rin tayong gumamit ng negative form as long as it is in short form. For example, nihon de kaenai hon or libro na hindi mo mabibili sa Japan. Okay, next. So, qualifier sentence plus noun. So, sabi dito, pwede rin tayong gumamit ng noun na merong qualifier sentence. For example, Kore wa kyonen no tanjobi ni kanojo ga kureta hon. So instead of just saying, Kore wa hon des, ito ay libro. Dinescribe natin ang libro, which is libro na binigay sa akin ng girlfriend ko nung birthday ko last year. Okay, so medyo mahaba. Next, 
父が村上春樹が書いた本をくれました。Instead of just saying, 父が本をくれました。Or,、えー、binigyan ako ng libro ni tatay. So, sinabi dito na binigyan ako ng libro ni tatay na sinulat ni Haruki Murakami. Okay, last example. Watashi ga ichiban kando shita ega wa ikite eru des. Okay, the movie I was touched by most is To Live or Ikite eru. Okay, that's it for now for qualifier. Sentences. はい、アルセンセイです。どうもありがとうございます。